Global Companies Operating in Ireland Ireland is the key gateway to Europe, the Middle East, Africa, and the USA, making it the most attractive European business hub and an attractive location for the multinational workforce. The country is also a member of the European Union and falls under the Eurozone, which is the most stable currency in the world. As a result, Ireland became a cradle of numerous global companies. And here's a look at some of them. Welcome to All About Ireland series. This is the Lifehack Lion, the channel that gives you amazing life hacks and interesting facts. Make sure to watch this video till the end because number one is going to blow your mind. Number 10. Google. Today, Google is almost synonymous with the internet, and we can't even imagine our life without it. Everyone of all ages uses the services provided by Google, such as Google Search, Chrome, YouTube, Hangout, Gmail, Android OS, and many more. Google is undoubtedly the most popular and exciting company in the world. However, this company is not only famous for finding information but is also for its brilliant business strategies. The company is exceptionally efficient in its tax management system, earning billions of profits by using tax avoidance strategies. The main reason that Google chose Ireland is the country's low corporate tax at only 12.5%, which is less than half of the current United Kingdom level of 28% and the United States at 35%. By paying a small income tax, Google earns more profits. This company also adopted various strategies to reduce tax liabilities such as Double Irish Arrangement and Double Irish with Dutch Sandwich. Number 9. Apple Apple is Ireland's largest company with sales of almost 120 billion euros. The tech giant continues to dominate the listings due to the fact that it puts all of its sales outside of the United States, through Ireland with sales of 119 billion euros. Since the early 90s, Apple has used the country of Ireland to give itself a substantial discount on its tax burden. The company's relationship with Ireland began in 1981, when Apple opened a manufacturing plant in Holly Hill on the outskirts of Cork. The deal gave Apple access to the highest levels of power in the country and a decade later, Apple leveraged its position as one of the area's biggest employers to further negotiate its tax rate down. Number 8. Facebook In 2008, Facebook, the world's leading social networking site, announced to establish its international headquarters in Dublin. Dublin became the center for Facebook's international operations, providing a range of online technical sales and operations support to Facebook's users and customers across Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. Under the arrangement, Facebook's subsidiaries pay royalties to the US-based parent for access to its trademark, users, and platform technologies. Ireland has lower corporate tax rates than the United States, so the move reduced the company's tax bill. Other tangible factors that made Facebook choose Ireland are its young, technically skilled workforce, it being an English-speaking country and part of the Eurozone, and, most importantly, Ireland's Industrial Development Authority, or IDA, which has the most effective lobbying organizations in the world. Number 7. PayPal Profit at PayPal's Irish arm more than tripled to 23.17 million euros from the 6.49 million euros recorded in 2017. PayPal Europe Services Limited provides customer support, risk operations, and corporate administrative services to the wider group. The unit, ultimately owned by US-based PayPal Holdings Incorporation, continued its relationship with IDA Ireland to further develop operations. Since establishing its operations in Ireland, PayPal has become one of the largest multinational employers in the country. Ireland also has a huge remittance market, with its more than half a million foreign nationals, which according to PayPal is worth $2.5 billion every year. Number 6. Microsoft Microsoft is the cornerstone of the multinational and tech story in Ireland, 
Since arriving in 1985, there are now 2,000 employees from 71 different countries at its one campus situated in the suburbs of Dublin. The functions they provide for the company include software development, testing and localization to operations, finance, human resource, and sales and marketing for Europe, Middle East, and Africa. In February 2017, the software giant announced it was creating 600 inside sales jobs. With the company's job creations, Microsoft's managing director for Ireland, Katharina Hallahan, described their Dublin center as being core Microsoft. Number 5. Yahoo! For the past decade, Dublin has been a great home for Yahoo! With its talented international workforce, strong business environment, and sophisticated technology infrastructure. Yahoo! opened its doors in Dublin in 2003, and what started as a small team has already grown into a multilingual and multicultural workforce today. The Dublin team provides world-class customer care, technical and operational support, and finance-related services for the entire EMEA region. Ireland is becoming the internet capital of Europe, with companies like Yahoo offering great opportunities to the passionate, highly skilled workforce. The government, through its action plan for jobs, continues to make the changes to ensure Ireland remains competitive and a natural home for digital companies. Yahoo's growing footprint in Ireland is a welcome statement of its commitment to this country. Number 4. eBay The Irish site was launched with a blaze of publicity, promising to change how Irish shoppers bought things online. In 2018, a total of 3.7 million listings on the site were from Irish professional sellers, with 68% of those using eBay as a way of exporting their goods. Meanwhile, eBay is still expanding in terms of its business and its employees in Ireland, employing between 150 and 160 people working from home. The retail expansion program has been a success for eBay, starting in Ohio and moving to the UK. The program was then brought to Ireland, with its highly skilled workers helping sellers to get the most out of the scheme. So, for eBay in Ireland, the future looks positive. The company is growing, and it is starting to hook in even more sellers to appeal to a global audience. Number 3. Johnson & Johnson The Johnson & Johnson family of companies has been operating in Ireland for 80 years. In 2005, a subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson has officially opened a new manufacturing building in Ringus Kitty, County Cork, Ireland. The company Janssen Sciences Ireland has operated a biopharmaceutical supply chain facility on its 40-hectare site. The expansion of the biomanufacturing site increases the company's production capacity and creates 200 new full-time jobs. Approximately 450 people were employed on site during the two-year construction project. The state-of-the-art manufacturing extension has been built in the heart of Cork's life sciences hub. Although the company already had a significant presence in Ireland, the IDA Ireland had been instrumental in helping the corporation to decide upon Ringus Getty as its new location. Number 2. Intel When Intel came to Ireland in 1989, it opened its first office in a used car showroom in Palmerstown, Dublin, before kickstarting one of the biggest capital investment programs ever seen in Ireland in terms of size and scale. In addition to the 4,900 people currently working full-time for Intel in Ireland, it is estimated that 7,550 full-time equivalent jobs have been supported during the various phases of construction. Intel has supported more than 756 Irish suppliers in the last 10 years, and the company has spent 3.9 billion euros on Irish labor since 1989. It shows that 921 million euros is contributed to the Irish economy every year by Intel, including 1.3 million euros to various education programs and more than 3 million euros donated to communities. And last but not the least, number one, Twitter. Twitter has updated its privacy policy, 
creating a two-lane service that treats U.S. and non-U.S. users differently. If you live in the U.S., your account is controlled by San Francisco-based Twitter Incorporated. But if you're elsewhere in the world, it's handled by Twitter International Company in Dublin, Ireland. Now you know. But what's the significance of this? Twitter Inc. is governed by U.S. law and it is obliged to comply with the National Security Agency or NSA-driven court requests for data. Meanwhile, data stored in Ireland is not subject to the same obligation. It also has implications for how advertising is handled in the future. With general data protection regulation in Europe, not only do people have more control over their data, but also businesses benefit from a level playing field, which is very important for any company looking to monetize user data through advertising. While data that is processed in Europe may be beyond the immediate reach of the NSA, the policy change could also be seen as a way of trying to sidestep future legislation which may make it more difficult for U.S.-based companies to share data about European users with advertisers. Do you know some other global companies in Ireland? Or do you have any requests for our next video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you find this video interesting, we'd love you to support us for more life hacks and interesting facts.